Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Preston Live. I'm Bex. You may have seen me on here already. Um, I usually do the social media for Preston, um, but I love I love to worship as well. Um, so yeah, good evening or good morning. Maybe you're tuning in and it's morning for you. Uh, we just want to welcome you guys to Preston Live. We're live, so interact with us in the comments. Um, I can already see some of you. I can see Fiona. It's amazing to see you on and, and just encouraging everyone. Jolanda, uh, Charmaine, who else? Dawn, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you guys um, on Press Storm Live. And yeah, how how's your day's been? I hope it's been um, a good day. Um, and yeah, who's ready to worship? If you're ready to worship, I just want you to put something in the comments, something that is encouraging. You know, maybe we've had a crazy day and a crazy week. Um, but yeah, if you're just ready to get into the presence of God um, tonight, just pop something in the comments and let's just encourage each other um, to just enter in because there's nothing like the presence of God. Um, so yeah, I've got uh, James. James hey. is is back. He is on keys. It's been a long time I've played. It's been a long time I've played. In fact, I don't think it's the first time I'm playing for Rebecca Waring. So it is. It it's is. great to be back. Uh, I've been out in America for three weeks ish. And so it's good to be back here. And hello, everybody. I'm excited to worship and seek God with you all, wherever you're watching from. God bless you. Amen. Over to you. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Joel as well in the back who is running around and doing all the important stuff <laughs> that makes this work. Um, so, yeah, that's our team for tonight. Um, yeah, we're just so excited to worship with you guys. I uh, just want to welcome Anne and Trudy. I can see your names popping up. So if you're commenting, I can see you. Um, yeah, it's so just a joy to have you with us. I just want to let you guys know on some upcoming events. So you will have seen on our social media, hopefully if I've done a good job, that we've got some exciting things coming up. Um, so our next stream after this is going to be on Monday. So next Monday, if you've been tuning into our Midnight Monday series, hasn't it been incredible? Um, so that's our next stream, Midnight Mondays on Monday from 11.45 p.m. and that's praying in the spirit praying in tongues together um, on youtube and on facebook and then this is super exciting we have all night prayer on friday the 21st of october and that's from 11 30 p.m to 6 a.m in the morning um, that's going to be in person, but we have limited um, seats for intercessors. So if you want to come in person, you're going to have to go on our website and register. Um, but we will be live streaming that as well. Um, and as well, Shift Conference on the 4th and 5th of November. Um, we're going to have the one and only James Aladrin. Uh, the amazing <laughs> Matt Vara Wilson um, and a guest as well, Micah Wood. It is going to be incredible. So get yourself registered by going to our website. So that's prayerstorm.org um, for both all night prayer and shift conference um, as well. They're both going to be live streamed, um, but it would be great to see you. Just to in clarify person. as well, yeah, the, the all night prayer is going to be live streamed for the general public and everyone on YouTube. However, the uh, uh, prayer conference is not going to be live stream on YouTube. It's only for those in the room and those who register and want to be part of the conference. So it's just to clarify that it's a prayer conference. We're going to be teaching on prayer and intercession, equipping you in prayer. Michael Wood is an incredible man of God uh, uh, based in the U.S., but he's recently just moved to the U.K. And so we're excited to have him speak at our conference and so i think it's going to be an incredible time so you don't want to miss it yeah amen amen <laughs> thanks for that i needed that <laughs> see this is why james is amazing in so many different ways guys um but yeah let's let's just enter into this time um of worship um we just want to invite you however you're coming whatever it looks like for you just to come and worship um, with us. Um, I just wanted to mention uh, James's book, <laughs> Life on Fire. Um, if you've not got a copy, get a copy. I've read it, but I was reading something today for, for something else I'm working on. And um, 
it was talking about John 4, 23. And it says, But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such people to worship Him. And James goes on to talk about, I didn't tell him I was going to do this, by the way. (laughs) But he talks about the Father searching for worshippers because worshippers are seekers and God Himself is a seeker. And He wants to see a reflection of Himself in us. And it really just got me. And I was thinking about Moses. And I've been thinking about Moses quite often in the past few weeks. And he spent all this time in God's presence on Mount Sinai. And when he came down, the people could barely look at his face because it was so radiant with the glory of God. And I've always been like, wow, would we be filled with the glory of God because we're so immersed in His presence. And what I never realised is when we're so deep, and James talks about this a lot, deep calls out to deep, when we're so deep in the presence of God, that glory is the reflection of the Father. And I want us tonight to just press in that maybe after this hour we come away and our face is is different it's radiant and we come away with this you know people look at us and they're like where have you been what have you done like what's happened because you look different and you're radiant and you're brighter because you've been in the presence of God what would that look like to our families or to our kids um, or to your partner or whoever like what would that look like because we've spent an hour with Jesus And if that happens in an hour, imagine days, imagine hours in the presence of God. So I just want to encourage you tonight. You know, we're here together for an hour, but let's let this hour just be completely surrendered to King Jesus and just say, God, I want to be radiant. I want to be so filled with you that it's not for my glory, but I'm a reflection of you. I want God to see me, to see us and think, wow, I see Jesus there, I see God there. So God, we just say, would you enter in to our spaces, to our rooms, to our cars, to our kitchens, however we're coming. Lord, we just surrender to your presence because there is nothing like your presence. Nothing on this earth can satisfy. And we come to be be filled tonight we come to receive tonight and Lord I pray that this hour I prophesy that in this hour we will be marked and sealed like never before as true worshippers that you would raise up worshippers in spirit and in truth that don't just come to worship but they come to chase and to seek the King of Kings yeah come and Come and take your glory. Come and have your place, Lord.
is our prayer Cause all I want is all you are Will you meet me here again? I'm not enough I'm not enough Unless you come
about God being close to the brokenhearted and binding up their wounds. And I just felt like God wanted to remind some of you tonight and all of us that He is so much closer than you think. And even as you just take a breath, He is closer than your breath right now. Yeah, and I just see just so many broken hearts and heavy hearts and God knows what that is about. God knows what you've been through and what you're carrying. But I felt God say, I'm here. And you may not have heard this song before, but maybe you've tried everything and you're coming tonight and you're just being reminded, God, I'm actually, I'm not enough. I'm not enough without you. I'm not enough without a touch. I'm not enough without a fresh encounter. I'm not okay with, with what I experienced yesterday or on Midnight Monday. I'm not okay with living just from that encounter, but I need more of you. And maybe you're pressed from all sides and it's getting heavy. I wanna encourage you tonight, press in to the presence of God. Let us already in the first song get to that place where we're saying, God, I'm not enough unless you come. Like Moses, I'm not enough unless your glory goes before me. I'm not enough, God. I'm not prepared to move from this place to do, to do anything else if you don't come, if you don't come and move and speak and touch and do what only you can do, God. So as we sing that, maybe we're singing it over you. Maybe I'm just singing it prophetically over you, but just have that moment with God where you're re-surrendering and you're saying, God, I'm actually, I'm not enough unless you come. I'm not okay unless you come.
to shout that out, to sing that out. Whether that's your house, your car, whether you're on a walk, just to sing that and to shout that into your space. Many things may have filled that space, but in a moment, we speak life and we say, God, come and fill our spaces, come and fill our rooms. Holy Spirit, come and fill our spaces. So I just wanna encourage you, action that even right now, whether that's to sing it with me, whether that's to shout it, whether that's just to declare it and say it out over your house or over your car, your office or whatever. We don't want anything else to fill our rooms, to fill our, our spaces, but the presence of God.
everything else it has to bow we declare everything else it has to bow at the name of Jesus the name That's 
the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. I enter We 
lock eyes with your eyes, Lord. God, we want to see you rightly. We want to see you in a new way, in a fresh way. So tonight we fix our gaze on you, but we lock our eyes on you, Jesus. On the Holy One. Lord, we thank you that tonight we can come close. And in Revelation, it talks about a creature and all around and all over it, it has eyes and it's just full of eyes. And I don't know if you can just take a moment to imagine that, a creature that's just full of eyes. And it's so weird and it's so strange that this is talked about in Revelation. But it's seated across from the throne and it gets to look at God. It gets to look on the Holy One, on the Worthy One, on the Lamb who was slain. And see every side to Him, to see every part of His nature to be fixated on the King of Kings. So Lord, tonight, we may only have two eyes, but Lord, we give our eyes to You. Let our eyes be fixed on You. Let our eyes have such a desire for the King of Kings that they are not capable of looking at anything else. And I feel like there's some of us, maybe there's this, this time of consecrating your eyes and saying, God, my eyes are for you. Not just to try to be holy or, or try to be righteous, but to be so fixated on your eyes, on the King of Kings, that our eyes are not capable at looking at anything else. That every other idol has to fall tonight. Yeah, I declare that tonight. Maybe there's something that's coming to mind, something that you're going to and you're finding you're, you're struggling to, to stop going to that thing or look at that thing or be a part of that thing. Maybe it's a conversation. Maybe it's something you're watching. I want to encourage you not, tonight to trust the King of Kings and say, God, in this moment, I consecrate my eyes that I will not look upon what I've been looking upon any longer. That idol is gonna fall and that thing is gonna bow. And in that looking, you're repenting from what your eyes have seen. And you're saying, God, I look upon you, Jesus. I wanna be so in love, so wrecked by you, so undone by you, so taken by what you did on the cross that I cannot stop but, but gaze at you. I cannot help but gaze, gaze at you. That my time is filled with being in your presence and looking upon you, Jesus. So God, would you come and consecrate our eyes tonight that we would only have eyes for you, Lord. Let every other desire fall away. As we sang, as we declared, let it, let it bow to the King of Kings. Let it fall to the ground, Lord. Yeah, let it fall to the ground, Jesus. have that moment between you and God between you and God right now
Yeah, if as we were singing that, my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. If you had such a moment with the Lord, then that is amazing. But if, if those lyrics, if those words make you uncomfortable, maybe put something in the chat, maybe it's an emoji or, or something. I felt like God was saying, get uncomfortable with me. And some of us are so, the love of God, this, this deep presence, Him as beloved, as lover of our souls is still quite foreign to us. So if as we were singing that, it was uncomfortable, I feel like God wants to deal with your uncomfortableness and say, actually, this, this love for you is real. It is for real. It is unlike anything you've experienced. It's unlike anything you've seen. And you will never experience on the earth this love that I'm showing, that I'm talking about. So as we sing that, as we're singing, my beloved, if it's uncomfortable, just have that moment with God of saying, God, that is uncomfortable, but I wanna know you as beloved. If you don't know Him as lover, as beloved, just ask God right now, give me a revelation, Lord, of you as my beloved. Thank you for your presence. 
sometimes there are no words, Lord, that can accurately describe what you've done and who you are. But we thank you, Lord. We're grateful, we're thankful. We're surrendered at your feet. And we thank you, Lord, that we can come close tonight. That in a moment when we say your name, we can come close. Lord, that you made a way. When you died, you made a way for us to come close. And I pray for tonight, whatever you've done in each and every one of us. Lord, we pray for an increase. We pray for more. We pray that this time would, it, everything else that they go on to do, would it would just flow from this time, Lord. That your presence is it's limitless, Lord. You go before us, you're behind us, you're at our side. So we thank you for worship. We thank you that we get to come like this from all over in different places we get to come as the body of Christ and say God we worship you in spirit and in truth yeah we thank you we thank you Lord yeah tonight if if God has done something in you you know feel free put it in the comments or message us because we want to know what God is doing in your lives in the in these moments we want to hear of the glory of God and the goodness of God in what he's doing in you i just want to thank you guys for tuning in for watching with us for giving up this this hour of your day and saying i'm going to join as a family and just worship the Lord together. It is so amazing to worship God together, even like this, even online. So I just wanna thank you guys. I wanna bless you guys. If you wanna partner with Prayer Storm, if you feel led to give, we have details in the description. Um, I believe if that's something you wanna do. But yeah, I just wanna thank James. Thank you for having Playing me. Playing the keys. <laughs> Thank you for having Keeping me. Keeping me going. <laughs> and Joel in the back. Yeah, it's been amazing. And yeah, just, just another reminder as well. Our next stream is going to be Midnight Monday. Midnight Mondays are incredible. Um, so if you can get to one, get to next Mondays. We start at 11.45 p.m. Right here at Press Storm TV on Facebook and on YouTube. Let me add something about that Midnight Monday. It's been yep. amazing. I got to join the last one from home. It was incredible. And uh, I saw someone asked in the chat, are we doing anything on Halloween Day, which is uh, the 31st of October, which is actually Midnight Monday for us. <laughs> it's amazing. So I spoke with Matt today and we're going to do a two hour session instead of one hour. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> So on Halloween Monday we're gonna start at 11 p.m. and we're gonna go all the way to 1 p. 1 sorry yeah 1 a.m. So two hour wow. session for midnight Monday on Halloween night. I hope you're encouraged by that. Come <laughs> so on. So while people are entertaining demons, we'll be casting them out. <laughs> you say that so casually. Wow, that is incredible. So guys, tell your family, tell your friends, because when we're together like that, it is so, so powerful. Yeah. So don't miss that. Uh, we have all night prayer. I said it at the beginning, but I'll say it again, all night prayer, Friday, the 21st of October. Um, you can join us online. That's from half 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. And then we have our shift conference on oh, the 4th. With, with all night prayer as well, if you're in the Manchester area and you want to join us live in the studio, we have a limited space. Mm -hmm. So you can just go on our website and register your interest to be here live for the all night prayer as well. Sorry, go on. No, no, it's, it's good, it's good. I'm forgetting <laughs> details here. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> um, and then we have shift as well. Um, that's going to be on the 4th and the 5th of November. Uh, James is going to be speaking, uh, Matt Vara Wilson, and we have Micah Wood with us as well. Um, so register, go online on our website, prayerstorm.org. All the details are on there. 
and on social media if I'm doing a good job because <laughs> I'm a social media coordinator um, so yeah go and check it out guys um, but yeah anything else James? no I've not got anything else to add apart from that conference that she just talked about the shift it's a prayer conference and so we just want to equip people in prayer and intercession and so if you have a heart to grow in that area this is probably a conference for you we, again, it's going to be all about that equipping in prayer and intercession building stamina all those sorts of things and so definitely check it out but bex you've been amazing thank you for joining us and so i think i'm gonna hand over to you to wrap up because i'm done (laughs) (laughs) i don't know how you uh you know wrap up a line but thank you guys if you joined uh midway through you know we had a bit of interaction at the start probably didn't say hi to you because my eyes were closed but just hello welcome goodbye bless you guys um have an amazing evening and yeah we'll see you soon See you soon. Bye. Pew, she, you know, they're amazing uh, friends of ours who passed on.